Hi everyone, I'm Shauna and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you an update in my mini and sample project pan series. Before we get into the update, I would really love it if you would subscribe, like, or leave a comment if you like this video. This video is going to be in two parts. The first is going to be talking about all the products I introduced in July. I'm going to be talking about what I used and what I finished and what I didn't. And then the second part is going to be introducing all the new products. So let's start with some hair product updating. I finished all of my shampoo kind of foil packs. I had the Moroccan oil shampoo for all hair types, well shampoo and conditioner set. And then I had the Kerastase shampooing treatment. All of these were just okay. Nothing really special. And I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Luxury hair care is just generally not where I want to spend my money. So I would probably never buy any of the products I currently have foil packs from. I have in the past, but I don't think I would right now. So these are all finished. The next hair product is this Kristoff Robin hair mask. I do have one more use left of this, so I'm going to use this and then I'll be rolled out. This I really liked. I would, this hair masks are something I would consider buying higher end. I don't know, I feel like any kind of mask. I, I feel like I'm getting better ingredients when you buy high end. I don't use these all the time so they last longer. Anyways, this was very nice. It was so smoothing and so, my hair felt so great. But this product is not really, I don't think, meant for me. I have not colored my hair in over a year and all the base color you see is like my, my natural hair, it's virgin hair. Um, and then I do have some highlights on there which are obviously colored. And my hair has never been healthier. It's been in really amazing shape. And so I feel like when I'm using really hydrating products, it can weigh my hair down and make it feel oily and greasy really fast. And that never used to really be the case because I used to bleach my hair. So this was great. And if you have a drier hair type, definitely lovely. But again, one more use out of that. Last up for hair is the Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. It's for color treated hair. I also believe this is like a, like a heat protectant. I did finish it. I was a little worried last month. I wouldn't finish it, but I did. It's all gone again. It was okay. I do actually usually buy heat protectants from Sephora, but I have definitely heard of some more affordable options like some stuff from Giovanni but I don't really use, I don't go through these very fast. A regular full-size bottle will last me one to two years. So that is out. Let's talk about some of the makeup stuff next. I do have a couple of primers here. The first is the Smashbox Primerizer. This was okay, nothing really amazing. I do remember Andrea Mattigliano talking about this and really loving it and she has a very similar skin type to me. I think it was just a little more moisturizing and I'm not really looking for that kind of product. I mean, it is called the primerizer. I mean, it's that's what it's meant to do, but it's just not meant for me. Next, or the second primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in the Hydrating. I did not like this. I still have a little bit left in here. This was just too hydrating for me. My skin felt really oily at the end of the day, more so than usual. Again, not something mint for my skin type, but I always feel like I have to use samples when I own them. So this was usable, so I used it, but not meant for my skin type. So <laughs> the last kind of skin carry makeup product is the, I don't know why I blanked on the name, the Drunk Elephant, it's their SPF 30. It's tinted. I did not like this product. This 
was streaky and when you like looked at my skin you could see it kind of spotty i don't really know how exactly to describe that texture but you could see this on the skin it didn't blend in very well and that was even the case when i just put it on alone without a moisturizer underneath or any kind of skincare products underneath if i'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer with spf this wouldn't be it and it's expensive it's drunk elephant i don't support the brand i do have a little bit left as you can see just a little bit uh, so i will finish this up and hopefully do that next month this did this little sample did last much longer than i expected okay everything left is kind of body skincare that kind of stuff the first thing is the ren ready steady glow daily aha tonic just okay i don't know this wasn't really remarkable i don't have much feedback on it because it was just average and last month i have the tally here i did start about here and i did finish it it didn't take me very long to get through that the next item is the body shop almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin i did start there and i did finish it i meant to save this to you know start this brand new for this project but this is one of my favorite scents from the body shop and i couldn't help it so i did dig into this before before starting this project i really really love this scent from the body shop but it's not vegan it has honey in it it smells it smells so lovely i would i would repurchase this if this was vegan but the body shop is i've found overly fragrance like their their scents are just too strong so i am moving away from that brand but this was still kind of one that is more on the gentler side and i would consider repurchasing but it's just not vegan just a couple more things to talk about so i did finish the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream i really really like this and if it had good ingredients and it was vegan i would consider buying it but i don't think either of those things are true so i won't and i did end up finding another little sample in a drawer it is almost done yeah there's just like just the tiniest little amount left in there i don't actually think enough for a full face but i'm gonna use this that last time and then it'll be gone i did also finish the purity made simple eye cream this isn't really the texture of eye cream that i like it's more gel opposed to creamy and i like a creamier eye cream so this is the past but i finished it okay one of the only products i didn't finish and i just can't use <laughs> it is the clinique hydrating jelly I, okay so the texture on this i hate i don't exactly know what about it i don't like it's it's just a weird texture for me and i can't finish it i just it was so bad every time i put it on i'm like it just makes me feel gross but anyways last video i think i said that this was some kind of face wash and then in the comments somebody was asking me about this and i kind of alluded to that i did go on to support's website to look at the instructions for this like how to use the product and it was still unclear to me if you have a product a makeup product skincare product whatever it is and what it is is not clear that should never be the case how can you develop a product and it not be clear what it is i feel like that's the first thing somebody should know is what the freaking product is maybe that's just me maybe nobody else found this particular product's marketing wording verbiage whatever you want to call it difficult but somebody else wrote in the comments after i was like yeah i think it's a i think it's a face wash they literally wrote like no it's a moisturizer and i was like mm. as a moisturizer no this i hate the texture of this i'm not finishing this i'm hoping i can give this a, give this to somebody but this is a hard pass so out of all of the things i currently have from the first intro from the intro the only things i have to finish up are the hair mask the sunscreen i have one more use out of this and then this is going to be rolled out everything else is finished 
So now it's time to talk about what I'm going to be introducing this month. I'm going to talk a little about the makeup products first and then get into the skincare, body care, hair care kind of stuff second. Last month I introduced, I think I might have introduced these but never used them. So I'm really hoping to, to use them this month. You know, get them out, use them up because this is a darker, darker color. It's a medium. And I'm only ever potentially being a medium in the summer, so now is the time to use these up. I also am introducing much more stuff this month because I found in majority of the categories, I finished stuff up very quickly and then things were just languishing or I just like I had nothing else to use and then didn't want to roll on stuff without kind of talking about it first. So there is quite a lot to introduce now. I did also introduce the primer, this, this Charlotte Tilbury primer. I didn't use it, so I am like reintroducing it this month and hopefully I can use this. I think this is one use, maybe two. Hopefully I can use it up this month. And the second primer is the Dermalogica primer, SPF 30. It's the Skin Perfect primer. I've heard a lot of great stuff about Dermalogica, but I've never tried any of their products. And I think they have quite a bit or quite a few items that are vegan. So I am, and out of all the makeup products I'm gonna be talking about, this is what I'm most excited about to try. I also have this little RMS sample. It's the Living Luminizer. This is definitely a one use item. You know, it's just a little bitty sample. So hopefully, just that one use. I have another one of these. So if I like it, then I can bring in the other one next month or just use it directly after this one. I used to feature perfume minis in my regular year long project, but I decided because this is a mini and sample project, this would be a really good time to introduce perfumes in here, at least for a few months. So I am introducing the Miss Dior perfume. I've used it a couple of times. This will just, if I finish it, this will just be the only one that I'm gonna be focusing on this month and you know, that'll be it. And I also have this little mini of the MAC Fix Plus. I have never used this before and this has been so popular for such a long time. It's just been kind of sitting around and I've always wanted to try it and I'm just about finished with my setting spray. So this will be, this is a great time to roll this in. I have one more fragrance to introduce. This is the Glossier You Perfume. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and everybody who I've heard talk about this in any capacity have really liked it. So I'm kind of excited to give this a try. I have no idea how this smells. Let's hope that this is, that this smells good. And I've also never used a perfume sample that kind of looks like this it's very interesting the last makeup product is the glossier cloud paint in dusk i'm pretty sure i already have this color but i love this if it's a color that i'm thinking of it's my favorite cloud paint it's a good single use maybe put it on the eyes as well and i love these so i'm very very excited about this so just a couple of skincare products and then we'll be finishing off with hair and there's not a lot there so I am going to be introducing this kind of bigger sample. This is the Clinique Facial Soap. Um, I'm about halfway done with this. This is another one I was also trying to wait off, you know, hold off for the project. But I tend to put one cleanser in the shower and then one kind of out and about on the counter because I will forget to move my cleanser back and forth. So this was one that I found and put it in the shower and I've just been using it occasionally. So I think that's just gonna be where it stays because I have been using it like that. So this should be just one month use and then hopefully get this out. And then another little cleanser sample is this Tata Harper. It's the regenerating cleanser. It's daily exfoliating and clarifying treatment. So this should just be a single use and probably use this one up first. So it's not just kind of hanging around. And then this guy, this is a L'Occitane sample. It's the Divine Cream. I do need to look this up before I use it because I'm not sure if this is for face or body, but this has also been sitting around. I think I got this in Christmas 2018 as part of like a bigger L'Occitane sample set. So 
time to use this guy up. I don't really find the packaging of this all that appealing, which is probably why I've never used it. So now is the time. Last month, I was getting confused about the Charlotte Tilbury product I introduced. This is the primer. This is the magic cream. They look very similar. I cut them both up because the pages were huge. Like, look at this. This is why do I need this giant paper advertisement for this tiny little sample? No. And this one was probably a similar size as well. So this is the magic cream, probably just a single use in here. And this I think retails for over a hundred dollars. So if this is again, a sample, just going to use appreciate what I have, but I will never buy it from this. This next sample I think is kind of interesting. This is the Ole Henriksen. I never know how to pronounce the name. Ole, Ole, I don't know. But this is their Three Little Wonders and it comes in a, a kit. Like you can buy the kit. They give you this little sample set to try out the kit. So it has step one AM and then step two that's for AM and PM and then step one PM. So there's the True Serum Collagen Booster, the Sheer Transformation Cream with vitamin C, and then the Invigorating Night Cream or Night Treatment. So here it is. This is probably just going to be a one-time use, but I do think this is kind of cool and I'm very excited to use this up. And the last item is this little Shiseido cream. It's the brightening moisturizing cream. It was part of a set that I bought last year. It's basically brand new. So this will be a few weeks of use, maybe even close to a month if I only use this at night, let's say. So got a nice little size here. Okay, last category is hair and there's just three things I want to introduce. The first is the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner little sample set. The shampoo says it's weightless, color safe, and cleanse. And the conditioner says protect, detangle, soften. I don't really need a whole lot of protecting and detangling going on in my hair right now, but this has been around, hanging around in my like little shampoo sample drawer for a year because I don't use this kind of product because again, as I've said, it just weighs down my hair. So just, it's kind of like a utility thing. Like I need shampoo, I have this shampoo, so time to use it up. And then the second one is this Verb C shampoo and conditioner. It's texture, body softening, those kinds of things. Nothing really to do with that moisturizing aspect of things. And I also have, as part of the same line, the C texture cream. So. I'll use this one day and then follow it up with this. This will have a couple of uses of for sure. This, I'm not sure, one or two, but that's just like a nice little combo. So that's that's everything I am introducing. It's definitely a lot of stuff. When you look at it, it takes up like a whole, a whole bin of stupid samples that have just been sitting around that I have been hoarding. You can say, oh yeah, it's just like, they're individually not that big, but I have so much stuff like this. I have more. I have more. After this, there's months worth of samples that I've just been hoarding, that I've just been, you know, taking up space that I don't really love or enjoy. And samples have just been stuff that I've just been, you know, I get, I place an order like, yeah, give me that free thing. And I haven't really thought about, do I want this? Do I need this? Am I gonna try it out to potentially buy? Either way, I'm very happy I'm doing this project for this exact reason. I'm getting out crap that I never intended to buy and I was only getting with my purchase because it was free. I only kind of, I only want stuff in my house, no matter how big or small, I only want stuff that will make me happy that I intend to use and none of this qualifies. Let me know if you've tried any of these samples. I would love to hear your thoughts. I always love to hear your feedback on my videos, your thoughts about products. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you were here today and hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.